Hello everyone, I'm Juan the ship's engineer. So, far today this have been very good. I do want to go back to the teachers of the law for a moment. In Mark 12, 32. You are right in saying that God is one, and there is no other but Him. To love Him with all your heart, with all your understanding, and with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is more important than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. This is what Jesus tells these teachers that were more concerned with the sacrifices than really living for God. Let's get to our team as they go on with this. Leo, you know that these enemies that have been chasing us just keep coming after us no matter where we are. I know, Captain. Zeta has informed me that her long-range scanners have picked up the enemy ship following us again. Attention all crew. Enemy ship is within shooting range and closing fast. Red alert. Red alert. Red alert. This is not a drill. Red alert. Red alert. Captain, I need help in the engine room. It's on fire. Help! Captain, I need help in the engine room. It's on fire. Help! I need security team in engine room. We have a massive fire going on. Tom and Lenka, you guys get to the engine room. Yes, Nebulizer. Lenka and I are headed that way. Kubo, you and Zeta assess the damages. Professor Nebulizer, we have an ongoing fire outside the ship that is continuing to burn, and I cannot stop it with my sensors. Okay, Zeta, I'm headed out to assess that damages. Meantime, Professor Nebulizer is outside the ship, checking out the damages and repairing from the outside. Captain. I'm outside, and I see what needs to be done. Okay, Neb. Be careful out there. If anything looks wrong, let me know. Got it, sir. Zeta, how are things coming along? I was able to divert energy to other part of the ship, so life support systems are stable. But I recommend that we suit up in case we lose them. Attention, crew. Just as a precaution, we need to suit up while repairs are being done. Captain, I was able to finish the repair, and Zeta finished the rest. I'm heading back into the ship. Good thanks, Neb and Zeta. Captain, the enemy ship has left this galaxy after firing on us. Thank you. Wow, you guys and gals really held it together during this trial today. I really do not know why these enemies of ours are after us, but I do know that God's word tells us to love them. It's easy to love God and ourselves because of what God does in us but sometimes loving others might take more time. This is what the Bible says. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. John 15, 12, KJV. Jesus calls on all of us to engage in loving others, just as he has loved us. This is one of the Bible verses that makes it clear that God's love is the blueprint to follow in our own lives. Then in Mark's gospel, it says, Mark 12, 30 through 31. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Love God and love others. Jesus' central message is to love God and love others. Love your neighbor unconditionally. Jesus says that to love our neighbors unconditionally, we must first love ourselves that way too. And love involves action. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for keeping us safe today. We love you so much and we love what you are doing in us every day. Father, help us to love our enemies and love them unconditionally. Amen. By the way, crew, I'm told we can remove our spacesuits at this time. Wow, that was intense today. We came so close to lose our entire engine and possible destruction of our ship. But God, I love those two words. He spared us. So remember sometimes our enemies might do the things they do because they don't understand us. At times they lash out but if we can show God's unconditional love to them, they will see it and come around. I'll be back next week.